Oh, I have an egg over here. It must be broke that fell from the front, from the top. <laughs> right in the poop. Nice egg, though. Let's see if we have any more eggs. Well, we have a hen sitting in here. Hey, Brownie. Are you laying an egg? I think you are. You're so beautiful. Thank you for the eggs that you give us. Yeah. You can go out and eat with your sisters. Hmm? Want me to get out of your way? Go ahead. Go ahead and get out. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? I'm going to grab some of these warm eggs. Got a few eggs here this morning. That's the one she just laid. Nice and warm. Look at this huge egg. Aren't they big? <laughs> I love those eggs. I'm going to show you how I'm going to store these eggs. Let me get inside. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, the process on processing eggs. I have my gallon jar here. It used to have pickles in it. And it's filled with water. And there's four quarts to a gallon. So I have four quarts in here. But let's see what the direction says that I got off the internet. My daughter, Amber. Uh, from Survival Prep Homestead uh, sent me this for pre for preparing the eggs to s for storage, and it's from a, from Pinterest, a girl named Holly he uh, Jessup, and she shared on Pinterest this lime water egg recipe and a way to process and store eggs for a year or longer, and they're not pickled eggs. Because these eggs are fresh eggs, not uh, pickled eggs are boiled and, and peeled and then put in your solution. This is just your solution of lime water, and here's the pickling lime. Um, and the lime water would, uh, seals the egg to protect it. And here's the rest of the story. These are homegrown, unwashed eggs stored in lime water. The lime water fills all the pores in the eggs and, in case, and encases them in the shell of, of glass. You can use plastic as well. Lime water or lime eggs can last stored at room temperature like this for up to a year. Many say even longer than, than that. This mess, method of preserving raw eggs has been used since the 1980s. I mean, 1980s, 1800s, and was common even into the 1940s and 50s, like 80 years ago. I don't know how I got 1980s, so it's 1800s. When refrigerators became a standard kitchen appliance, water glassing almost became a must art. You must use clean but unwashed eggs. You cannot use commercial eggs from the store for this because they have all the protective coating or the bloom that, that, that's natural on the egg 
that's been washed off and the shell will be quickly go will quickly go bad. And you want the 24 hours or less. That's how old you want your eggs. Like within as soon as they're hatched is best. Uh, for a fresh and possible the, and have them not refrigerated. What about poopy eggs? A lot of folks have wondered how a clean uh, how to clean the poopy eggs for this without washing them. Well, you can soak the poopy eggs in in lime water in your pickling lime water uh, separate from the water in the jar, and then then after you get them cleaned off and then their poop's gone, then you can put them and add them to the jar. And if you scrub the shell too much when you're cleaning the poop off of them, uh, you might disturb the bloom, which will make them go bad. And one egg going bad will make all of them go bad. I'd say just eat the poopy eggs. Instead of putting them in the jar, go ahead and wash them and clean them and eat them like you normally would. Uh, duck eggs would not, would not be recommended because uh, they get kind of mucky. You, you use two tablespoons of the pickling lime um, per quart of water, and there's four quarts to a gallon, so that means I need eight tablespoons of the, the lime into the jar. And then it says to wear a mask to prevent breathing in the fine particles. I don't have a mask, so when I do this, I'll be going like this. And I'll put it over my nose and then do the work so I don't breathe in the particles when I'm mixing up the lime in, in the jar. And if you don't, if you can't drink the tap water that comes out of your sink, uh, use filtered water when you do this. Uh, be sure to rinse the eggs thoroughly before eating them. After you, when you're ready to eat them out of the jar, rinse them off first because the they're soaking in the in the lime water and uh, they'll taste like lime because it's all over the egg. The powder is fine and can be harsh f for your lungs so make sure you wear something over your nose. And it, it dries out your if you take the eggs out like reach your hand in and pull out an egg out of the jar it will dry your hands out so make sure you use tongs or a spoon something that would get them out with a tong. Tongs is what it recommends to use. And then the gallon jar holds 40 eggs. So let's get started. So it's two tablespoons for, um, a, for a quart. So that's eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight tablespoons. Let me get this open. Put this over my nose and then get started. Okay. <laughs> I'll come right back after I get it open. Okay, you guys, I feel on a mask. And I got this open. Kind of messed up when I opened it. Because I got a hole on this part, which is below the seal, so I have to dump this into something else. I'll go ahead and put my eight tablespoons of the lime into the jar. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. I don't know. One, can you see? Yeah, don't want to make a mess. Ah, here's two.
three, one more. If you want to see how this turns out, follow my channel. So when I use the eggs, you will be first to see how they turn out. And there's four. I probably should wash this off my hands. I'll be right back. I have a spoon here. I'll stir this up now. Looks like milk. I wouldn't drink it if it was you. Now I have my farm fresh eggs here. And only put in the ones that are clean. Now this says poop on it. So I won't be putting that in. This one's clean. I don't want to keep it where you can't see. So let's put this in. Uh, let's see how this goes. This has poop on it. Here's one of my beautiful blue eggs. <laughs> Another poopy egg. Another uh, blue egg. Just a little bit. Lay these eggs right here. I don't think I need the mask on now. I think that's not that much. I don't think it'll hurt. Go ahead and put that in there. And that's pretty much it. That's the process. This is my first time doing this, so this is new to me. One of my blue eggs. Got my fingers wet on that one. Feather. I don't think we need feathers in there. <laughs> So it's supposed to hold 40 eggs. So, of course, I don't have 40 chickens. I ain't gonna have 40 eggs right off. So we just keep going until we get 40 eggs in it or until it's full. And then I know it's uh, ready to store. I hope this helps somebody that wants to save eggs uh, for when we get afford them. At least you'll have some saved up to eat later if you want eggs. And um, that's what it looks like in the jar. I'll keep going until it's full. I'll probably have to dump some of the water out probably because it looks like it's going to overflow otherwise. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Hope this helps somebody. If it did, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this, if I helped you learn anything. And share it with somebody else who might be interested in saving eggs for themselves. I, I love you guys. And I'm trying to help people. And hopefully this helps somebody. And I will see you guys on the next video. Remember, God loves you and so do I. Ta-ta.